Well, this calls for a celebration beer. And obviously it's not because I got the rear brakes on. But I'm in, moving towards the right direction, I think. So, here's the current progress. Now granted, you don't see what they're, they're shaved down to, but one of them is... 440 thou. The other one is 450 thou, I believe. So, moving. But on to what I got completed just now. This lovely piece is so beautiful. I still haven't quite decided how I want to do these brake lines. I think I'm going to end up just hard lining it straight out of this T on out to this end. Same thing over on the other side. Let's see, I don't know if I'll be able to get a good camera angle. But, so here's the other, the T. This bar is going to block it. Let's see if I can get a camera in here. So right here, which you probably can't see because the light sucks, but that's the other end of the uh, barb right here, where my finger's hit. I drilled a hole right here, that. And my plan was to pass the brake hose through that hole to give it a kind of a guide. The downside is I don't have a grommet that'll clear this, uh, whatever the hell thickness this is, quarter inch plate. But, um, might not be quite quarter, but whatever it is. But anyways, I was thinking hard line it from this side here to the end, and then from the inside out to the other end. Now the only downside of doing that is I won't be able to pull the calipers off easily if I need to replace the rotors or the shoes that are inside of the rotors. So this design might get changed later, but I'm probably gonna hard line it for now just because it'll save me money. I won't have to buy more flex lines for back here. And also the fact that I didn't weld on a, uh, a tab to put another bulkhead. But this will be a flex line from this 45 out to this. And I'm probably gonna have to turn it up like so. So it'll just kind of come up and over to that. But this thing, oh, this is beautiful. You just turn this adjustment, like so. Rotate it out to, uh, or counterclockwise, whatever, to uh, bring the nose down, or the uh, pinion down, pinion angle down. Clockwise will bring it up. Actually, vice versa, sorry. Counterclockwise to bring it up. Counterclockwise will push the threads out. Clockwise will bring it back down. But yeah, this is the uh, the torque arm installed. It's beautiful. All grade eight hardware. Now I still have to tighten down this, all these, the rods that hold these in. There's a spacer right here. So there's spacers on both sides and there's this spacer here that you probably can't see too well but there's a spacer there between the two tops. I think I'm going to end up putting another clamp up here. Sorry for my shitty camera work. Let me try to get where the lighting's not terrible. All right so right here. That's going to make some rattling noises I'm sure. So I think I want to put a clamp somewhere around here to hold this up. But I'll get to that later. Everything else is good on it. This has a grommet, it's got a little bit of shake to it, but it's got a grommet there, same thing here. Grommeted, pretty solid, I like it. But anyways, all these, all these bolts here, these bolts here. I still got to torque all these down. I got to impact them all down. Same here. 
None of those are tightened down. So I got to do all that before I get it off rotisserie. Obviously, I got to finish with those brackets over here so I can get my brakes mounted back up. But I just wanted a quick update on progress being made. She's, uh, she's coming along again, getting that motivation back. But uh, for those who haven't seen this type of setup, I don't remember if I showed, this bar here is the pan hard. This actually centers this housing left and right. Turn it in and out, it'll actually rotate it left and right. I don't know if you can see the housing moving or not, but probably not. It doesn't move it a whole lot, so it's kind of hard to see, but that adjusts the left right movement. So you can center your wheel, center your pinion angle, or I mean your center your pinion, and then these adjusters adjust the pinion angle, and then these will adjust out on this. But that's it guys, I'll, uh, I'll be making another video soon once these brakes get done and finished mounted up completely. And I'll also be making a video on the motor build again. I think a friend of mine is gonna powder coat my intake manifold for me, as long as he's not too busy. And if he is, I'll end up just dropping hundred bucks on a powder coat gun because I have an oven now. I just have to wire it up. And I still have to blast it. So I have to blast it, blow it out, wash it, clean it, etc. And uh, I got my ARP stud to fix the oil pickup. I'll, uh, I'll make a video of that so I can show what it looks like and I'll put the part number in the description. So if anyone else needs an ARP stud that has an oil pickup uh, taper down to like a 3 8 thread, mine are 7 16 bolts and they taper down to a 3 8 for the oil pickup. So if anyone needs that part number, I got it. All right guys, thanks.